What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Rel2G. Night of Champions is history. It's in the books. We have a new world heavyweight champion and Mark Henry. He's been with the WWE for 15 years and he has not had a title shot, nor he has won a title. But tonight is Mark Henry's night. This is the beginning of the Mark Henry Hall of Pain era in the WWE. We'll get to that match in just a few minutes, but let's get to what went down first. Uh, Night of Champions starts off with the Tag Team Championship. Air Boom, Evan Bourne, Kobe Kingston. They defeat The Miz and R-True in a disqualification on behalf of The Miz attacking the ref due to, you know, The Miz thinking the ref is letting this match go as it is because... You know, the ref didn't see the tag that Miz did to our truth and vice versa. So, you know, his you know, his attitude got the best of him, and that's how Miz attacked the ref, and that's how they lost the match. So Air Boom retains the title as tag champions. Then we have Intercontinental Championship match with the champ Cody Rhodes, defeating Ted DiBiase and what was a pretty good matchup. I'm not saying it was the best match, but it was a pretty good match overall. Um, if Ted DiBiase didn't take that mask off of Cody Rhodes, then it could have been a different story because he missed with the mask and Cody Rhodes was pretty much setting him up to do it, rolling him up in a pin, holding on the tights. Cody Rhodes retains his title. Then we had a promo with Christian talking about he spoke with both Triple A and Teddy Long, which he really didn't. It was just a little plot. Then to give him one more chance at whoever wins the World Heavyweight Championship. So Sheamus came down and simply says he agrees with Christian that he should get one more match. And if he was to indeed get one more match and wins, you give me that chance to face you. So he's telling Christian to go around the ring saying one more chance. He stops and eventually pauses. Kicks the shit out of Christian. I mean, he kicks the shit out of him. And this looks like this is going to be a rivalry to start. Hell in a cell between these two combatants. Christian and Sheamus. The next match was the United States Championship. Fatal 4-Way. Dolph Ziggler. He went on to defeat Jack Swagger, John Morris, and Alex Riley, which was an, a pretty good fatal four-way match for the U.S. title. But I had my had chance for Jack Swagger to do what he had to do, but it wasn't to be. You know, he had many, many chances, but Dolph Ziggler played possum pretty much throughout most of this match, and he turns out the winner by a pinfall. So Dolph Ziggler retains his title, but how long will he have it? And what's going on with Vicky Guerrero? Because at the end of the match, she's in the back, announces, we win, we win. I guess she's talking about <laughs> Dolph Ziggler, whatever. Dolph Ziggler is her man to advise. Jack Swagger wants to be advised by Vicky Guerrero. And Vicky just simply says, uh, everybody in the back of the locker room wants me to advise them or what have you and she plants this big old kiss to Matt Stryker and she announces that if Triple H was to lose and his match against CM Punk she may be in line to becoming the next COO of the WWE <laughs> bullshit so much for that then the next match we have for the world's heavyweight title once again congratulations to all to Mark Henry he defeats Randy Orton, and what was a very intense, gruesome match between these two, Randy Orton really gave it his all, and Mark Henry, you know he had to give it his all. Intense, but at the same time, little up and down match, Mark Henry once again defeats Randy Orton with the power slam to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. And after the match, Mark Henry tells all his dollars, you can't celebrate with me. This is my time. Nobody is going to take this title away from me. Nobody. You have now entered my hall of pain. So we'll see how far Mark Henry takes this. If he can continue this streak that he's going on right now. 
All right, then the next match was the Divas Championship match. Kelly Kelly defending her title against Beth Phoenix. And uh, stop him. I'm watching the game, folks. So sorry. And this was a pretty good match. All the stops was going with Natalia and E. Torres. They took part of this match as well, just in the beginning stages. But at the end, it was Kelly Kelly who defeats Beth Phoenix in her hometown. Kelly Kelly once again retaining her title as Divas Champion. And then we have the WWE Championship. Alberto Del Rio defending his title against John Cena. And, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that here. John Cena steals Alberto Del Rio's car. And it was a whole bunch of things that went on this match. A pretty good match between these two combatants. But at the end, John Cena is a 10-time WWE Champion over Alberto Del Rio. Like I said, a very intense match. Alberto had it for Cena. Cena had it. For Alberto, earlier part of the match, but at the end, John Cena's STF was no match for Alberto Del Rio. So John Cena, again, is the champ. And finally, the no disqualification match, Triple H and CM Punk. This was the match that fucked me over because I was watching online here on the internet. And once this match started... Then my shit started buffering, so I really didn't get to see the whole entire match. I did get to see CM Punk get thrown out of the ring, and then it buffed me again. I also got to see The Miz and R-Truth attacking the referee, and that buffed up on me. But I did get to see Kevin Nash come and jackknife CM Punk. He did something to Triple H. I don't know what he did. But I did finally get to see the rest of what was oof, Kevin Nash getting attacked by Triple H's sledgehammer. And then eventually he goes into the ring and puts the pedigree on CM Punk. And Triple H wins the match. He still remains COO of the WWE. And the Falcons just scored. Damn. I'll have to give this particular pay-per-view an 8 out of 10. It would have been a 9 had that final match didn't buff all over me on the internet. Ugh. I'm just pissed off about that. What did y'all think about Night of Champions? Put your comments at the bottom. Subscribe to my channel. I know I could do it much better. This has just been a crazy little review. But I do have to say... <laughs> I'm busy watching this damn football game, which the Eagles are now trailing. But anyway, folks, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient. This could have been better, but um, we'll talk to you again soon. Once again, Mark Henry, your new world's heavyweight champion. Later.